What's going on everyone? Coming to you guys again from the religion of peace. You know, it's time to go all ham and call out on these hypocritical Islamists. Here in our state, in U.S. soil, in Dearborn, Al-Quds, Dave Raligors, is their version of what to call it Jerusalem, which there's nothing in history belongs to these Islamists. They screaming death to America. I never thought this day would come, thanks to Joe Biden and the weak far left. I really want to know to the liberals, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to destroy this country within? When will be the right time, fellow patriots, true citizens that love this country? When will be the time to rise up? When is the right time when the liberals come, what was it? When Biden won the election by cheating, they're calling about insurrection, which we know this the the little people started by Pelosi. And then they want to blame some Americans acting like domestic terrorists, right? But it seems like we know who the real terrorist is in our White House right now. So when is the right time for an insurrection? Here it is by these scumbags here in our states. They're so unhappy back home, they want to bring the problem over here. You were crying about Israel. Listen up, you Islamists. While you slaughter all across the rest of the Middle East and Africa, I want to see you guys call out on ISIS and everybody else that persecute them. you calling about, crying about fair, right? Do you do anything fair? Your Quran even teaches to unalive the Christians and Jews. You got pastors and the Hadith that says, when you see a Christian or a Jew walking, push them across. Make sure... Um, you don't greet them, they greet you first. Racist religion. Straight from the from the pit of hell. So let's see. At an international Al-Quds rally in Dearborn, protests chance death to America. Speakers at the rally, America's one of the most rottenest country, right? What the hell are you here? I hope the feds see this and get the hell out of these people out of here in this country. At an international Al-Quds Day rally in Dearborn, Michigan, held on April 5th, and stream live on Dearborn.org. On Facebook, protests chanted, Death to America, Death to Israel. Michigan activist who is affiliated with the Hadi Institute, Tariq Bazi, said that it is not genocide Joe that has to go, referring to President Biden, but it has the entire system of the United States. This is what they want, ladies and gentlemen. They're so unhappy. They want to Islamicize enemy necessary. This religion is such a cult that the book says if they don't do nothing about it, Oh, you know, Allah will punish them by any means necessary. But then again, you know, you people want to live like the Western lifestyle. So you, you're still going against Allah. So it makes you a bipolar person. So what are you going to do about it? You're, you're unhappy. You live well. It doesn't go your way. You live, you come to the country that's based on the Judeo Christian principle. We will look out for our allies. And to all the weak liberals, to you students in your 20s, you better wake the hell up and do some studying, listening to some ex-Muslims. Whatever the hell the lie they tell you, oh, it's some land grab, it's some oil thing. No, there's one thing. It's unaliving the Jews, then after the Christians, then once they have enough number, you people that's been supporting, they will come after you if you don't submit to Islam. When it all comes down to is it's just Islam against everybody else. Palestine is just a front. Palestine never existed. You people are not Palestinian. As as good old Mossab said, the son of the Hamas leader, it is a tribal fight. Original Palestine was the was what probably from Greece that from the Aegean Sea that came by the coastal side. Term Palestine means uh to migrate. You know, there was a definition for that. You can look it up. This thing has to stop. This is what these Hamas want. They want to stir up the weakling liberals. Look, I grew up in it. The liberals were our favorite target to push our agenda. We will still talk. When I was still a Muslim, I will still talk, talk trash behind their back. But I knew there was a problem. The way of life that we live in, friends that I came across from different backgrounds, Islam doesn't give you that. To all you people that put your bumper stickers to coexist, wake the hell up. There is one group that doesn't want to coexist. You know, we could get along well with other faith groups, but that one, not at all. Let's see. 
what they have to say. Well, I don't want to play my make a double sub, but it's out of from memory. If you go to YouTube, type in memory, there they have their own YouTube channel, and you can see the latest one on that. And listen to these scumbags in our soil. Yeah, we got an eye on y'all. I suggest everyone, they like to cry by protest, like to boycott every product. Why do business and give your money to them when they're going to use that money for their cause? I want to see how they truly beg Allah and see how they'll handle. Because these are the kind of people that want to spread hate, boycott their businesses, any Islamic own, I don't care who they are. Don't do any business with them. Because let's see how the true color comes out. I'll talk to you guys soon. I got some more reports to share. I'm going to go all out calling all these hypocrites. God bless you all.